How's everyone doing? Thank you all for checking out True Groove All Heads. We are the True Groove All Head Crew. I am Turbo. And I'm Ben. And today we're going to go ahead and talk about a bobblehead of a five time All Star, National League MVP in year 2000, Jeff Kent. And this bobblehead was given out in 2005. Let's jump right into it. We're going to show you the box. All right, everybody, now I'm going to show you the box. So here in the front of the box, it shows Jeff Kent right there, as you can see. This side of the box just shows some facts of Jeff Kent, as it shows as well, he's an all-time leading home run second baseman. And this picture as well shows the bobblehead itself. And on this side of the box, just some more stats and facts about him also. And on the top of the box, it actually shows the head of the bobblehead. All right, so Turbo's going to join us again, and he's going to show you the bobblehead. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Jeff Kent bobblehead real quick. So we'll go ahead and start at the base of the bobblehead. At the base of the bobblehead, it is in blue, and it does say Jeff Kent's name at the bottom on the side of the base. And then where you see Jeff Kent, you actually see him at home plate. So that's where they're showing right here at the base of the bobblehead as well. Okay, so you have Jeff Kent in the home Dodgers uniform. You know, right here it does say Dodgers with his number... 12 right there covered by his hands while he's holding the bat. So he's holding the bat with black batting gloves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to the side. Now you see, do see that LA logo right there on his sleeve. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it a little bit more. Now as you see the bat, what do you notice right away? What stands out about this bobblehead? Well, something that stands out is that he doesn't have his last name. For a few seasons, the Dodgers actually did not have the name on the back of the jersey. So that's why on this Jeff Kent bobblehead, it didn't have the name. It just had the number. Trying to go with that, you know, retro feel of jersey, I think. And they eventually went back to uh, adding the name on there. And at the back of Jeff Kent's helmet, you do see his number on the back of his helmet as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn it. And, of course, he's in his batting helmet, LA logo at the top. And as you can see, it's it looks pretty good. From, from my point of view, it looks like a good bobblehead, good representation of Jeff Kent. I think it looks like him pretty well. But what we're going to do right now is, now that you guys got to see the bobblehead a little bit, Ben's going to join me, and we're going to go ahead and rate this bobblehead. So the crew rates each bobblehead on a scale of 1 to 5. Each bobblehead starts off with 1 point. The bobblehead has the ability to earn an extra point in four different categories. Okay, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and rate the bobblehead. All right, so we're going to jump into the first category, which is going to be likeness. This one, we're going to actually give this a point. We think it looks, you know, pretty much like Jeff Kent himself. We're excited about the likeness on this one, so it deserves a point. Yeah, so the next category we're going to talk about is detail. Now, honestly, looking at this bobblehead, I mean, it's okay, but honestly, when I look at some of the detail on this, it feels kind of sloppy and maybe not as clean or neat as the other bobbleheads, um, but it's it's not bad. So I think me and Ben feel comfortable giving it a half a point for detail. Yep, I agree. Yeah. So the next category we're going to talk about is pose. So for this category, we're actually going to give it a zero. You know, it's not really, you know, a standout pose at whatsoever. So uh, we're not going to give it a point. Yeah, I agree. And then the last category is standout. Does this bobblehead stand out? Unfortunately, it does not. No, it doesn't. There's nothing about this bobblehead that stands out. It's not even really a Jeff Kent pose, you know? So mm -hmm. we're going to have to give that point. It the doesn't even match well. the pose really on the front of the box. And usually they do that. Yeah. Yeah, usually yeah. they try and mimic exactly. the picture. Um, so the overall score for this bobblehead from the True Blue Bobblehead crew is a... 2.5. Yes, a 2.5 for this Jeff Kent bobblehead. Mm -hmm. All right, Ben? All right, final thoughts on this bobblehead. You know, I think it's a really cool bobblehead considering they did a good job with the likeness of it, so it does look like Jeff Kent. But, you know, a little disappointed as well with, with, with the detail of it and, and just the pose doesn't really match the front of the box of what they're really supposed to, you know, copy. So, uh, but all in all, it's a cool bobblehead because Jeff Kent, you know, was a was a good Dodger for us. So, what do you think? Yeah, I mean Jeff Kent, unfortunately, will probably always be known as a Giant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was with the Dodgers later on in his career, but he bring a veteran presence, and mm -hmm. he was really a leader in the clubhouse. Even though he probably didn't talk too much because yeah. he didn't look like he, he talked wasn't too, too likable. Um, I was, I don't know, but that I mean that's what we hear. We, 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 yeah, we heard stories. Things, so it's just you know. yeah. So, I mean, I think this Jeff Kent, I'm really happy with the look. I think it actually looks really, really good. It looks like mm -hmm. him. When I see this, I say, oh, yeah, that does look like Jeff Kent. Yeah. As far as the overall bobblehead, I've said it before in other videos. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of this style or era of bobbleheads they had because, like I said, look like caricatures, almost like statuesque. 
you know, they're not trying to portray them. It's just their face. But this one, the face looks really good, so I'm happy with it. Um, and definitely glad I got a Jeff Cam bobblehead, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I got to say about it. Uh, cool bobblehead. And, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's about it for this one. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out this latest review. I am Turbo. And I'm Ben. See you guys next time. Thank you for checking out the True Blue Bobblehead crew. You can also find them on Facebook at True Blue Bobbleheads and Instagram at True underscore Blue underscore Bobbleheads, Twitter at True Blue Crew 2, Snapchat at True Blue Crew 23. And remember, stay true, stay blue. We are the True Blue Bobblehead crew.